show with Brent and Viam. And we are making our way towards where those very skinny Birmingham boys were sleeping this morning, but of course we're keeping a lookout uh, for anything else. Now, uh, I was about to tell Viam, we started walking just behind us this morning, and we literally went from here and we covered the whole of the horizon down to Gowrie Main, then all the way up by Gowrie Main and around. It was about just under nine kilometers in our search for the Queen of Juma this morning. And of course the Queen is Karula for those of you who are not sure. And then it was quite strange, there were no elephants about and we even went looking for these guys but they weren't around this morning and they are around this afternoon. Now that is exciting news and I'm hoping those Birmingham boys walk straight in this direction. I think my whole afternoon plans have changed knowing that there's some buffalo about. So two bulls and the one cow has been hanging around with them for the last while. So I think the last time uh, she was in a herd, as it got chased by lions and she got separated so she's decided it's safer to hang around with the old bullets rather than by herself. Now, of course buffaloes do love a good wallow and this is one of their favourite wallowing spots on a Juma Chelepan. Now, we'll be coming back to check on them a little later I think let's go see if those lions have moved. It's been really hot today, so it's unlikely that they've moved, but we just want to make sure. Okay, let's carry on. I guess it's probably 31, 32 degrees, maybe even a degree or two uh, warmer today. And that's what a late summer day is like. There's a bit of a chill in the air during the morning and then the sun comes out, not a cloud in the sky. I think our rainy season is well and truly done. But I would love to be proven wrong with a little bit of late rain because I don't think water holes are going to hold out the full dry season. I was hoping for some ellies around here. One of the mud wallows thrashing about, cooling off at this time of day. There was not an ellies on Juma this morning. I wonder if they've vacated and moved on. So there we go, 33 degrees Celsius. 92 at Fahrenheit. So a lovely toasty uh, late winter, I mean late summer or early winter's afternoon. Uh, that's the one lovely thing about our winters, it doesn't get too cold. Of course if it did we wouldn't have all these wonderful animals. That's what happens in the northern hemisphere, in the temperate forest where it gets really cold. Uh, the animals have to move vast distances for food. So you'll never have a consistent density of animals like we have in Africa. You do have it, of course, in South America, in certain parts of Asia. But we're going to say toodaloo for now and uh, start with Jamie.